Hello, Sagittarius. This is going to be a six card spread. This is going to be where the relationship is currently at, your feelings, their feelings, the obstacles or blocks, if any, the suggested approach from the universe, and the likely outcome. Please note this is not going to resonate with every Sagittarius watching this video. If it is not your story, do not try to fit it in. Sagittarius, the overall energy we have is of the five of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is sadness, loss, grief, abandonment, guilt, remorse, regret. You are focusing on the loss. You have lost something, you have let go of a relationship, this could be a breakup, this could be someone who is only focusing on the negative aspect of the relationship, this is someone who is in a severe heartbreak, this could be a divorce or a separation. This is someone who suffered uh, very recently and they're just mourning and they're in a lot of pain about something. This could have been a fight or this could have been someone who's just walked away from you or you could have walked away from someone in a relationship. All right, Sagittarius, in um, where your relationship is currently at, you have the hanged man. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You're feeling trapped. You're confined. You feel limited. You feel a lack of direction. Or this could just be that you are stagnant. Your relationship has completely come to a point of stagnation. There is a pause. You want to think about what has really happened up till now. You want to um, think about a situation that you're not happy with. You may be feeling like you're stuck in a rut, in a rut, or you're trapped in a situation. You know, you just don't know. You, you just don't want to make any move right now. Or this is where your relationship is at. Both of y'all are not making a move. You both are just stuck. You have the power to release yourself, but you just want to take a step back. This is not a bad energy. It's okay, but sometimes overdoing this can also cause a loss. You can be in this energy, but do not overdo it. You can take a step back, you can retreat, but this cannot be for very long. Okay, this is also a sign of indecision, you know, and sometimes indecision is also a decision. Be careful. Try and release yourself as much as, as soon as you can. In your feelings, Sagittarius, you have the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer. You want victory in something. You are very determined to be victorious in a certain relationship, in a certain situation. The chariot does not come without challenges. There are challenges, but you are ready to fight for it. You're ready to overcome the obstacles. You could be dealing with uh, someone who lives in a long distance. This is traveling. You could be wanting to travel towards someone. Regardless, this is someone who's very who's feeling very motivated, ambitious, and in control. Okay, you have you're in control of your vehicle. You know where to go. You're hardworking, you're focused, you have the willpower. And if you want to go ahead, then now is the time to go for what you really want. Just stay focused, okay? Be confident in your abilities and you will be successful. In their feelings, they have the Six of Swords in reverse. You could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. This is someone who's expecting trouble or this is someone who gets into trouble every single time. This is someone who gets out of one trouble and falls into another one. This is someone who is not ready to progress. This is someone who is not ready to move forward. They're still in that stormy relationship or in that stormy aspect of your relationship. They're in that negative energy. They're standing their ground. They feel they have nowhere to run or they just simply do not want to move on. They want to be there. They want to wait. Or this could just be someone who feels trapped. They feel they're, they're just stuck and they can't move on. They feel very attached to you. The hangman and the six of swords, both of them tell me that you are lacking communication or there is a big distance between both of you. This could be physical distance or emotional distance. But you both are um, 
you both look like you both are wanting to make this work out this person is not ready to move and you're ready to move forward but no one's taking action as yet in the obstacle position like i said you have the three of pentacles but in reverse you could be dealing with an earth sign a taurus virgo or a capricorn this is someone who is lacking commitment this is someone who is not learning from their mistakes they have the unwillingness to learn this is someone who is not growing in the relationship or the relationship is simply not growing two people are not ready to work together there is no determination there is no focus there is no goals there is no dedication there is no motivation this is poor quality work this is where two people are not trying to come together to make and build a foundation they are not ready to build the relationship probably because they are just stuck no one wants to put in the effort this is just lack of determination this could also be um, a card of someone who does not want to commit this could be someone who is lacking commitment in a relationship in your suggested approach or advices the world in reverse there is something that you had set out to accomplish in your relationship but the relationship has still not come to an end this is unfinished business your karmic cycle isn't over with this person again this could be a long distance relationship you have the world card you may feel that something is over but it is not you may want to travel to this person but then there are a lot of delays in traveling you may feel very disappointed this is again another card of stagnation the hangman and the world in reverse both both clearly indicate a lot of stagnation you may feel things are not moving forward you may feel that what you have set to accomplish and it is just not happening if you're just not being able to move forward you don't know what to do you may feel something is you're putting throwing in all your energy into trying to make something work out but it is just not working out for you you're feeling stuck again this can be a particular part of your life or a relationship which is taking up all your energy you know compared to the other problems in your life you feeling you may be feeling very burdened there is unfinished business sagittarius whoever you're dealing with it is going to come back around So if you think a relationship was over if you think the breakup that is it it is not it is going to come back around In your likely outcome you have the two of swords but it is in reverse There could have been a decision that you have been holding on for a very long time you could be dealing with an air sign an aquarius libra or a gemini there is someone who can see the truth uh but they were probably not making a decision they were at a crossroads they were blindfolded they probably could see it but they were not ready to make a decision or take responsibility for their actions or their decisions uh but uh, this could be indecision again this is anxiety stress fear due to making a decision but someone is finally going to make a decision someone was stuck in their head but they're going to make a decision they're going to emo emotionally detach themselves and they're going to make a decision from their head I want to clarify the hangman. Spirit guides and angels, please clarify the hangman. Why is the hangman here for Sagittarius? You have three of swords in reverse. You could be trying to overcome a breakup. There was definitely a breakup. This could have been a third party situation. There could have been three people involved. It does not always mean that it has a third person. This third thing could be a third situation. This could be a third emotion. This could be something that is external to both of you all. Okay? This could be fear, stress, anxiety, no commitment, any anything. It does not always have to be a third person. I don't see a third person here for sure. I feel this is more like an emotion that is between you both. 
this could either be a lot of negative self talk that you're doing about yourself but you're definitely going to come out of that heartbreak you're coming out of it from the hangman position why is the 3 of pentacles in reverse here you have the judgment again it just came out before i asked a question so i'm going to put it here very very important need to make a decision okay leo um i'm sorry i said leo sagittarius you could be dealing with the leo why is the three of pentacles in reverse here why is the three of pentacles in reverse here? why is the three of pentacles in reverse here for sagittarius why is the three of pentacles in reverse here for sagittarius So we have been dropping cards all day. Hmm. The three of pentacles in reverse is clarified by the page of wands reverse. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, just like yourself. This is someone who's lacking motivation, lacking inspiration. This is someone who has an idea of what to do. when to do how to do but they're just not ready to take action this is someone who could have delivered there could have been some bad news delivered to you through email text um or a call or something but this is someone who's who who does not want to make the effort this is someone who's lacking enthusiasm this is someone just plain lazy so one of you all are probably in this energy and that is why there is no collaboration that is why there is no teamwork happening All right, Sagittarius. Well, last card, the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower in Reverse. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Something is going to happen. There is going to be a shakeup in your relationship, in your life, uh, Sagittarius, which is going to force you to do things. It is going to force you to make a decision. You are going to be the Two of Swords very soon. You will have to make a decision. If you are not understand something, if you are not going to make a decision, the universe is going to make it for you. This is just the tower is just like the universe comes and smacks you into your head. Like, are you going to make the decision or should I make it for you? Okay. This is also dodging a bullet. You must have been very very close to um, a disaster in your life, but you have escaped it. This is averting disaster. This could also be the energy of someone who's trying to hide or run away from the truth. This is someone who's trying to keep away from some secrets or something that is hidden. They're trying to keep uh, something under wraps. Okay, someone scared of the truth coming out. All right, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please put your comments down below, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.